what is going on my dudes welcome back to another video guys today we are back with the player reviews and we have gapco review as you guys can see guys he is 6'2 four star four star unfortunately he cannot be lengthy from what i saw on footman but regardless guys this card looks absolutely incredible with 89 pace 87 dribbling 85 shooting and 82 uh passing the things that stand out to me on here chat is, is sprint speed uh, it's the shooting that is exactly 85 with 85 finishing. His passing also looks very decent. And you really do need good passing in FIFA 23 because without passing, you're kind of done for. Dribbling really looks very good. And then physical as well looks very solid. So let's go ahead and try this card out and see how he does. We have Gapco coming in. Guys, one of the things that I really love about this game and as we see about this FIFA 23 game, man. Oh, look at that, boys. Recovers the ball right away. Very solid making that run. One of the things that I really do like about this game, guys, is that like you are able to nice pass. Gap go. He does feel big. I wish he was. We, I, I, we also put a hunter on him because we do want him to be a. Uh, we did want him to be on the fastest route since he can only be controlled. Can't see. Nice. Oh, that was nice. Right, he's able to do the new uh barrels uh heel to heel or whatever you call it nice oh my god beautiful shot right there by capco guys as you guys see my goodness gracious bro Ch oh, very nice dribbling good pass to halland beautiful finish you guys saw that there man good passing good back and forth very good finish by Halen as well. Gap goal so far feels really nice. I would I would say he kind of feels a little like Rashford. Honestly, I would say he feels better than Rashford, a player of the month, because I am currently using Rashford. And for me, guys, Gapco is feeling like a menace right now, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Make that run. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that, boys. Let's go, man. What a what a player, man. And Memphis Depay just muffles that, man. But, dude, Gapco feels very good on the ball, guys. Very good. Once again, make that run. What a play. Allen. Oh. Nice. Nice. Good pass. Allen finishes it. It's over, boys. GG's. GG's, boys. Allen was trying to make that hold up play. Gapco ran. Unfortunately, ball got taken away. But then Gapco's like, here you go, Allen. You got it. Honestly, man, Gapco feels very, very good in the midfield. He feels very good in the attack. His overall body height in game feels so good. And I absolutely love that FIFA 23 is actually good for bigger players. One of the best things to come from it. Gapco, come on. She's like a five-star skiller can do a lot more than that. Nice. Gapco's not selfish. Back to Gapco. Left foot shot. Ah. Nice. Oh, my God. Chat, did you guys see that pass by back Gapco? Guys, that pass by Gapco meant to Antony to score the goal was just beautiful man i'm telling you guys man this dude is insane gapco let's go five four gapco the best player in the game oh my god bro holy crap man he may not be lengthy but he's definitely freaking good man oh Alrighty, guys. So as you guys saw, man, Gabco, man, what an insane player, guys. Guys, I absolutely love that FIFA 23, man. Um, is very is is like very catered to bigger players nowadays. Like instead of having like only small players like Neymar and Messi, you can use players like Gabco, guys. Six two, right footed, four star, four star, very solid card in general for me. I absolutely loved him. Um, over, other than that, guys, we did use a hunter on him. Uh, played very well. And um, guys, I mean, guys, the pace on him is very good. Yes, he is not lengthy. But guys, he's still very good. And if you guys are trying to fit a, a uh, Netherland player into your team or you guys want a good super sub, now that we have five subs in general, this card would be very good. For an 84 rated team, I like it more than Rashford. Actually, I, I do. I think I think Gapco is better than player of the month Rashford. Um, shooting is, is fantastic, guys. His left foot was good. His right foot was good. You guys saw that finishing goal. 
to win the game. Beautiful. His passing was also very good. He actually had two assists for uh, Haaland and uh, for Anthony. So, solid card. Dribbling felt fantastic. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, dribbling in this game with uh, left stick dribbling isn't really great with any player. But the R1, L1 dribbling felt good. And that's all that you really need for this game. So, in my opinion, chat, it was decent, okay? Uh, Physical-wise, guys, very solid. Stamina felt good. Strength felt good. I just think, guys, that you guys should go look at this player, especially with that finesse shot trait, the outside, the full shot trait. If you shoot with L2, he is just very, very good in general, guys. So, highly recommend him. Um, guys, go do him. 84 rated team. You know, everything is cheap right now, so why not go get him? Um, but, yeah, man, in my opinion, I would do him. He is better than Rashford for me. I'm actually going to see if I could replace him on my team, but I kind of doubt it since he can only be a left wing, left mid. But, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below if you guys are doing him, and I will see you guys back later for another review. And guys, player reviews are back.